Hello guys, good day to you. Welcome to this new video. I'm Edward from Yellowhead Games and today we're going to see Godot 4 beta because Godot just entered the beta phase and we're going to touch a little bit of stuff that I think that is interesting to see. Before we even start, I'm going to make a shout out to three other videos. Basically, Games from Scratch made a video about this and they showed a lot of 3D features. Brownwell and there is Fine.cg. After watching my video, I suggest you to watch all these other videos because they covered it in different parts and, and explained a lot of stuff. I'm going to tell you some things that I found out that are pretty good and interesting from my point of view. Now, let's jump inside and let's see what are those news. Why is important, Godot? entering beta phase. This means that from now and on, all the features that are inside Godot are going to stay the same. There aren't going to be major changes in the future. I mean, we are now on the bug hunt season. <laughs> They're just going to fix bugs. And that's great because we have something that we can potentially use and learn to use for production. Now you can actually make your transition slowly too. God of 4. Now there are different new features in God of 4 and one of those is obviously the famous Vulcan rendering. By using Vulcan they can better target all the smartphones and mobile phones rendering and that's great because now I'm going to show you you can choose between using Vulcan on his wall complexity or just targeting Android and this is great actually. And if you don't remember W4 games already gave us port for Direct3D 12 on, um, on Godot 3, but actually we have it on Godot 4 as well. Now, obviously all the old devices are not excluded by this because they created an OpenGL based com compatibility render aimed to support older and low devices that do not port Vulkan and GPU APIs. We have some nice and interesting global illumination systems. We have the voxel global illumination and that's great. Games from scratch just digs that just go and watch this video, it's pretty interesting. And if you want to touch it with your hands, just go and download to Godot 4. Now, another thing, we have volumetric fog, and this is great as well. You're going to give that atmospheric and the cool vibe to your games. I mean, I'm not a 3D guy, but actually this just just makes me want to, to, to make 3D games, actually. They introduce decals as long as understood, basically. There are some effects achieved by adding textures upon textures, and you can do this now with PBR materials as well. Now, if you don't know what PBR means, basically they are physical based render materials, actually simulate the real material. That's pretty interesting, just go and check them. And obviously for some of you that were kinda, you know, a little bit worried about, about the visual shader editor since they removed the visual scripting, it's here, it's not going anywhere, and actually it's improved to, to make things easier and more functional, so you can achieve very beautiful effects with this. Now here we go, physics and navigation. Now we have the Godot physics, they kinda created their own physics for, you know, for Godot, because they were using this bullet engine, but they just went on a new engine made specifically for Godot. And that's great because having their own engine, that means that they have more flexibility in improving new features in the future and all the stuff and fixing issues as well. Pretty interesting looking here that is in the preview, obviously is the soft body nodes and that's great. You can have these balls jumping and bouncing everywhere. <laughs> that's great. Actually. Animation has been improved as well. And Fine Point CGI and Games from Scratch really uh, cover this part here. You can import animations and you can apply the same animation to different characters because you can now rig kind of kind of rig in a better way the body because this way you can define a few key points on the model and that points are going to match the skeleton and. But that's great, I mean, you can apply this way the same animation to different characters. Very nice, actually. Now, let's come to this crucial part, GD script. Now, GD script changed a lot in God of War, but actually it's not so extreme. Definitely, there are some points here that are the same as God of 3, but actually there are different things that are changed here. Now, there is a new syntax, like I was saying, and they brought us some new features, some new methods that we can use. There is the await method here, and we have some super keywords, and we have the typed arrays, and we have lambdas as well 
well. Honestly, I don't fully understand those, but there is a lot going on. Those look like small functions to me that, that you can create them without creating, you know, the world structure like you do. Now, if you want to download God of War beta, just go under this section here, downloads, click on that. You can get the star building, it's going to have GD script and GD extensions, or you can get the .NET building and it's going to be the C Sharp one with GD script as well, but you know, it's more focused on C Sharp. Now something that I find always mind blowing is that this software, this engine just comes under 55 megabits. It's fully packed with all of kind of features, but it's just 51.4 megabits. Just mind blowing. Look at this just 51 megabits anyway here in this section you just grab what you want and you can download it obviously if you want to export for android and other stuff you just need to take all these templates but for the moment we're just going to see how this is going to work so after downloading it just go and check it yourself it's going to be great here we are like i was saying god of war it's just so small now if you if you start the project you can create a new project here and you know, YouTube test, just create your folder. What is happening here? Like I was saying, you can decide here if you're going to go fully for Vulkan cluster, supports desktop platform only, advanced 3D graphics available, can scale to larger and complex scenes, slow rendering of simple scenes. That's if you want to go full power on your machine. But you can choose Vulkan Mobile though. This one is going to support desktop and plus mobile platforms, less advanced 3D graphics and less scalable for complex scenes, faster rendering of simple scenes. And this is great actually. I mean, this might be the choice even though you're not exporting for mobile. I mean, you can definitely choose this one and it's going to be okay if you want your game to perform well on small machines and on old potatoes. So just create and let's modify it. And here we are, we are on the 3D environment, that's fine to me, but you know, I'm a 2D guy and I like the 2D environment. Now you always can go here and you can create your own preference, just create one, a new one, create it, you can change the 3D editor, you can change what you want, what you don't want. You can customize your environment. If you go here, you create a 2D scene and you can see that now we have the support of a SVG file. And that's great because basically we can use now directly vector files. If we go here and we give a script here. Now there are a few interesting things here and definitely if you want to check it, basically if you want to export a variable now, you need to put an at before the export word and you can export your variable just by typing var and my speed for example and you can put it like this i just saved this file but if i go here i have my speed okay and that's updating and if i make another export here i'm going to say my color now I'm going to select a color here. We're just going to pick a color here. And the interesting thing here is that now we have a round shape color picker. And that's great because I really like this new, this new way of doing it. The color is there. We have our things and everything. Now we can copy nowadays the values. We can pin them. And one very, very interesting thing that we can see right now is this. We can open the documentation. Here it is. This is my not today documentation. Look, this is something that it's going to be huge if you're working with a team. When I watched this, I said, whoa, wait a minute. You have documentation already done by, by the software. You don't need to modify this. That's made by the software. And if you want to make this a little bit cooler, you can give a class name here and look at this. If we go here on the documentation. We have my player. We have the properties that are the variables that we have. And by default, those variables are going to look like this. Basically, it's creating the orientation for us. Now, another thing that might be very interesting for you is actually if you go on the output here, basically we have now the ability to filter things. Because if you don't want all this stuff, you know, I have an error here. If I don't want that, just just click on this. It's not going to show me any more errors. Now, basically, I don't want standard messages. I don't want this, um, you know, editor messages as well. And here I have only the real errors. This was something that you could do in Godot as well, but now you, you have the ability to filter it 
directly here. Okay guys, this was all. I mean, I just used it a little bit. God of War is going to be awesome, especially if you're going to work in team. Because like you saw, you have documentation already done for you without you writing a line, basically. And there are some other things that, uh, from my workflow and point of view, are very interesting to, to be there. And they're going to change a little bit my workflow, but they're going to improve my workflow as well. Now, what do you think about the new Godot engine? Are you switching slowly to this new version of it? Do you have any issues with the new syntax or you find it easy? But anyway, just let me know down in the comment section. Okay guys, this was all. I'm Eddie from Yellowhead Games. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below, share this with your friends and expand the word. If you made it so far, please check my slide Diamond Slider sits out on Android, please. My game needs some feedback and especially rating to make things move a little bit. Turn on the bell notification to not lose any of my uh, future videos. And more important, keep devving games!